Hospitals at breaking point and a health service in danger of becoming unsafe for patients. That's the stark assessment of the capital's healthcare system from the man in charge of running the NHS in London. The warning comes ahead of the publication of an NHS England report tomorrow, which reveals the city will be facing a £4 billion shortfall by 2020 unless there's fundamental change, including cutting services in some hospitals. London's problems are likely to be mirrored across the rest of England, which is facing a £30 billion funding gap over the next eight years. The Department of Health insists they've protected the health budget. Well, I'm joined now by Dr Andy Mitchell, the medical director for the NHS in London. And this is a very radical message you're sending out, that, that if we carry on like this, health, the health service is not safe. Uh, yes, perhaps I can just put a little bit of context around this. Um, we, as you said, the health service is facing a very significant financial challenge over the next five to ten years. The difference between the funding that we expect from the funding that we have and the, the rising cost and demand of healthcare is of the order of four billion pounds for London. So we are going to have to radically rethink the way that we provide services. So a lot of people will just say, "Well, set, spend the money," you know. Spend more well, on the NHS. Uh, we, what we have to do is to actually ensure that we achieve best value expenditure. And um, what we have to do as well, very important in these circumstances, is to maintain quality and safety of services. And that's a key priority. What we, what we want to achieve, though, with the report that we're releasing tomorrow, is a wide debate with the public, with professionals and with other care partners, because we ha do have some very radical decisions to make. And, and that is about closing parts of hospitals, or whole hospitals in some cases, it's, it's about... and concentrating services in, in places where people will have to travel. I'd, I'd like to move away from hospitals briefly, if I may, because we do need a, vision, a different vision for the future. We need a vision for the future of the health services that uh, focuses on preventive care, personalised care, integrated care, primary care, with the hospital being the place of last resort for the sickest patients to go. And that it, does mean what I just it, said, well, doesn't it, it which it is does closing mean, parts of hospitals or mean, whole hospitals. It does mean that we will have to rethink the scope of practice of some hospitals uh, and that we will probably have to centralise more services as we have done very successfully with stroke and trauma in London in the past. You, you, you've, got to be, you've got to be pretty blunt about this, haven't you? I mean, yes. rethink the scope of hospitals means closures, doesn't it? And, uh, and the public have got to get their heads around that in your, in your mind. Uh, the, 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 you know, and the public are very, very resistant always whenever this is proposed. And this is part of the very wide debate that we need to have with the public to help them understand that we are aiming to provide the best quality, most effective, best value for money services, but that will mean that your local hospital may not provide the same scale and range of services that it has done in the past. I mean, Jeremy Hunt, backing this, is going to be a brave man as a health secretary, isn't he? I mean, because... He's faced controversies in Leeds and Lewisham and all sorts of places. People don't like closures. Well, clearly, in order to achieve this, as well as ensuring that the public is on side with us and the profession is on side, we do need political support to do it. But the message that's coming from clinicians, such as myself, is that if we are going to maintain high-quality services across London into the future, then we need radical change. Dr Mitchell, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.